Hello, YouTubers. Joe and Paul here of Joe and Paul. And Paul's here with a story on Sunday, April 28th, about the hotel. And it involves the geese. Again. All right, you know about the geese story. Told you. Well, since I threw her some potato chips the other day. She clapped. I threw her potato chips the other day and she stood up off of the nest. And she's going to have a lot more than just two chicks. I mean, she's going to at least have, I'll give it eight to ten. <laughs> We had a bunch of kids out playing in the pool area today. Now, they've had to do something. That's separated from the nest by a glass wall. I mean, the pool's inside, but the nest is just outside the glass wall. <coughs> they somehow managed to piss or moth. Sorry. Tick off these two, this goose and gander, to where they jumped off the nest and got away from it. But, whatever they did made these two so mad that they kept turning around and coming back and attacking the glass wall of the pool house. Do you get it, these characters? They did this for like two, three hours. Finally, they calmed down enough. And she got back on the nest. But in the interim, she's, her, she's hurt her foot. Because when she's got up to turn around, whatever, get a bite of grass, she's never had a limp. But since this incident with these children... No, they're not she's, children. They're like she's got like, a shitty. They're like teenage. Limp. No, they're like you know well, eight, nine, well, eight to no, it doesn't matter. twelve they need somewhere. To, they there. need to. They need to not do that. That's terrible. That's hateful. I know, but they did. Well, I understand. No, I understand. I mean, you know, things happen. I understand. Well, the last people that were up there when she had the first two eggs, they run her off. And they buried her in her nest. Yeah, well, no, we, you told that, that. You told that. You told that. That was great. Well, at least these yeah. characters, they didn't do that. They just. Well, anyway, so the very mad. So the so the, the geese are horsing around toward the window and uh, attacking the back pool wall window. And, and so then, so. After about two, three hours, she calmed down enough and got tired of attacking the glass wall. I bet there's a lot of husbands. <laughs> I bet said, there's a lot of husbands out there that would would be glad to know that that might happen from time to time. And she went. She's back on the nest. It's like it's back to normal now. So. Until however long it's going to take for these chicks to hatch. Until the next TV show with Oprah or something. And also, all my ears, every time I see a new chick, um, Mallard, Goose, oh yes, you know, Bird Man, they've always been like this yellowy down fluffy thing. They're very fluffy. We have a mallard couple and they have two new chicks. Out back here on the creek. These little, these two little burgers, they are coal black. On the 26th we saw them at 6.30 and these are tiny little souls and, and they're black. I mean, you know, yeah, smaller than a fist. Oh, much smaller. Smaller than this. These things have just had to come out of the than this. And Seriously. 
They're blacker than charcoal briskers. <coughs> well, we we have well, we have two pair of mallards out here, and one of one of them obviously have a pair of chicks, but the other other two don't. Uh, They're this color. And uh, <laughs> now, the day after Paul saw these guys, uh, we you know we didn't we didn't see we saw a pair of mallards, but we didn't see any chicks. So. Uh, Maybe a difference. Yes, that's right. That's there, right. You know? you know, you know. Well, we know we have two pair up here, but uh, anyway. Uh, that, well, they're gonna take off and hide those baby chicks. Well, you hope until they get a little mature. Well, you hope. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah. Now you know what? You know these raccoons and coyotes. No, and, but they make first thing they do to get them out possums. of the nest, throw them in the water, and, and make them stay there for a while until they. Get a little bigger. It can run faster. Now, so to, fit, to complete the story about the 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 hotel geese, they're like all back to normal. Oh, they're so they, acting normal. Oh, so so uh, there wasn't anything, any definitive action taken about these these uh, folks in the in the pool or uh, no. Because I didn't catch them doing it, <coughs> and that is the problem. Until I went in looking for like, dirty pool towels, and both both the parent geese were gone, and they were not on the eggs, but they were in the parking lot. Just <clears throat> could you have like a flower bed and then a strip of grass and a sidewalk, and they were back there roaming around, and just. Yelling and raising cane, but then every so often they would spin around. And they would shoot back at the glass wall and try to attack it. Well, they're, they're soldiering on a bit. Yeah, like I said, and then about like two hours later, calmed down and he went back to acting normal. He laid down off on one side, looked at himself in the reflecting glass and. She's back on the nest doing her thing. I wonder if you all taped a few black garbage bags over that little segment of glass that it might cal <laughs> calm them down a bit. No, 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 no. We tried that. Oh, did you? Oh, okay. Tried that, and the gander, the, me the male goose, she got mad. And he attacked the glass wall because he could not see into the room. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's interesting. Because <laughs> he likes to lie there and look in the room and watch the people. What we need here, guys, <laughs> is a YouTube consult on goose behaviorists. So if you tried to put it up through a thing so they could have some privacy. Privacy. So like when people would come into the pool house and look straight across the pool. They would not see this, you know, and the kids would not get excited and run around and go screw with them. Plus, she was sitting on her nest. So, we tried blocking the three bottom windows in that section of the wall where they were. And the male got mad and he attacked the glass wall, <laughs> it was flipping out. So we took two strips down and left one. That made him happy. So as long as she was blocked off from the public, he was okay with that. But in a, but he had to have all of the other windows Goodbye. all along this 30-foot pool. He had to have... <laughs> Get my woman. Get my woman. Get my woman. You close my woman's bedroom door. <laughs> so to say. Oh, it's straight guys everywhere. I like the world over. Burkas <laughs> <laughs> uh, for all, huh? There you are. Man, this is less like a geese burka. I like it because the, the channel manager of the hotel, she'll take like a 45 minute or half hour, 45 minute break and just 
go out into the pool room and she'll set it turn around in one of the chairs over by the the nest and she'll just sit there and stare and she and the old girl on the nest they just sit there and stare at each other <laughs> Well, there. Uh, I don't know uh, what the two of them are thinking, two. Uh, mentally between the two of them, but they just sit there and watch each other. Two commandresses looking at each other. You know, commandress looking at a commandress and a commandress. Two mothers. Looking, two yeah. much mothers are just sitting there and watching one. One is watching one that's waiting to have her children. And one that's already had the children plus grandchildren, she's watching the mother to be. <laughs> it's, it's all a very mystical and magical connection, isn't it? It's kind of like she's going and she's visiting somebody in the hospital waiting to give birth. Oh, well, except without, <laughs> without all the germs and the disease surrounding you. I mean, you know, in the pest house, you've got Lord knows what's going to come crawling up your leg and nail you, you know. Yeah. Through, oh, yeah. So it's worse than having a tick crawl up you, isn't it, when you're being <laughs> in a hospital? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's all I have. Well, I could, I could go on uh, for a fair amount about stuff, but I'll, I'll shut up. I may make a separate video about other stuff, but... Uh, I think Paul has said it all for now. So, bye-bye, YouTubers. Have a good night.